And we're back with the FEU uh, legends here on the score, Raymar Jose, Jasper Parker, Richard Escoto, and Carl Brian Cruz. So kanina, uh, pinag-usapan natin yung mga parang kanina ko yung naiinis yung mga kalaban nyo sa UAAP dati. Medyo good vibes naman tayo. Sino yung FEU teammate nyo na parang idol nyo? Para bang naging favorite nyo kasi siguro dahil idol napakabait sa inyo, o nililibre kayo, or nagbigay sa inyo ng life lessons as a teammate. Sa FU, sino yun? Raymar? Uh, para sa akin, siguro sa naging teammate ko, yung pinaka-close ko. Oh, close. Si Pugoy kasi parang sa isang araw, hindi kami nag-iwalay minsan. Kaya minsan, yung football may pill in young husband ba yun? <laughs> parang kami yung ano dun eh. Ah, kayo ba yung young oh. husband ng FU? Mm, kasi Bagay. sobrang kulit namin yan eh. Kaya... Sa pinakakulit talaga na teammate ko, si Pugoy talaga eh. Kasi parang siya yung close ko dati, best friend ko, kahit saan. Ako to, ayaw mo ko. Gusto, gusto naman kasi roommate ko rin to sa, ano eh, sa... Sa dorm. Sa dorm, sa FEU kasi. Ako ayaw mo din. Di ba sabi ko nga lahat tayo ayaw parang ayaw. close. Pero pinakaklose ko si Pugoy talaga. Okay. Okay. Jasper, who's your like, I, like teammate that you're super close with that you, you, you had so much fun in FEU because of that teammate? Um, well, I mean, obviously, just more with the Philams, but I played with uh, Jojo Trinidad back home. He, he just lives like 10, 15 minutes away from me. So um, just being able to play together in UAP was pretty good. I mean, we had a lot of good times at his dorm, um, but he's been, he's been my childhood friend since like way back. So. I'm actually curious about the adjustment, like, kasi ang kukulit na itong mga ito eh. Ang kukulit ng FEU eh. Tapos, kuyari, you're, you're a film, and uh -huh. then you, you go in there, you're staying in the dorm, and with, you know, guys like this. Uh, yeah. How do you, how do you adjust? Well, I mean, I wasn't with these two, but I was, I was with Richard, so Richard's more of the quiet guy in, in the dorm anyway, so. Ikaw, uh, Richard? Siguro si, para sa akin siya, no? Si Macbello, yung taong sobrang tahimik on the court, off the court. Daming lesson na nakuha ko doon. Ano yung parang pinakamagandang lesson na napulot mo kay Mac Delo? Yung discipline niya. Kasi, pag, sample, pag matutulog, oh, patay nyo na yung ilaw. Patay na yan. Si Mac Delo yun? Oo. Oh, oh. Lahat na dumating sa dorm namin yan, kami lahat gising pa ng mga alas 9 ng gabi. Siya, tulog na. Eh, yung, yung kwarto niya, <laughs> double deck eh. Sa taas siya ngayon, nag, nagpipinsilan ng mga ano, curtain. Pa, pag yung paa niya nakalabas na, tulog na yun. <laughs> <Sa kating. laughs> Pero pag nasa loob, gising pa yun. Pero pag tulog na yun, nakalabas yung paa, maagang matulog yun. Pero si Mac Bello, tahimik. Pero pag nagsalita siya, sunod lahat. Kahit gaano, kahit ko pa yung makulit, ikaw yung... Pag si Mac Bello nagsabi, mm. sunod. Hindi, siguro pinapakita niya na lang. Hindi siya masyadong ah, vocal. Hindi siya masyadong eh. vocal. Ito yung mas vocal sa amin. Ikaw, Carl, sino yung pinaka-favorite mo na teammate? Uh, siguro, yung pinaka naging favorite ko na nagkaroon ng impact sa career ko. Lalo na especially yung nagsisimula ako sa FU. Si ano pare, si Kuya Mark Baroka. Grabe yun. Iba yung disiplina nun, tsaka work ethic nun. So, Team B ako, saka agad yung kumakausap sa akin. Kasi two years ako nag-Team B, so nakasabay ko siya. Ayun, sinasabay ko siya sa shooting. After practice, nagsishooting pa siya. Tapos, yung work ethic niya sobra. Grabe. Tapos, lalo na sa depensa. Kasi nag-start ako sa FEU, kay Glenn Capasio. Gusto niya defender eh. So, kumbaga, parang na-inspire ako kay Baro. Ah, grabe naman yung pensa to. Sabi, nasa isip ko, pag magaling ka pala doon yung pensa, may chance ka makalaro sa loob ng court. So, doon ako nag-start. Kaya na-inspire ako kay Kuya Mark. Anong nagawa ng FEU para sa inyo? As, uh, umaga, as individuals? Umaga, paano ba na nahubog ng FEU experience yung pagkataon ninyo na daladala nyo na hanggang mag-pro kayo, hanggang Hanggang tumanda kayo, madadala nyo. Ano yung, ano yung values na yun? Sa akin, kasi FU na four years ako tumira eh, sa Moraita. Yung environment doon, number one yun. Lahat ng kalokohan nandun. Paglabas mo ng school, paglabas mo ng dorm, lahat ng temptation, lahat ng kalokohan, lahat ng mga loko-loko, nandun eh. Minsan nga dati, alas 12 ng gabi, naglalar naglalakad ako sa Abinida eh. So, kung bagay mga experience na gano'n na, ah, kahit, Alam mo, maraming loko-loko rito. Anytime, pwede may mangyari. So, so maging matapang ka lang. Yun, maging aware ka lang. Lahat ng mga ganun mga experience. Tsaka yung mga baha. <laughs> baha. Nahubog yung pagkatao mo dahil sa baha. <laughs> <laughs> hindi, I mean, yung mga ganun experience na, extreme experience uh -huh. na hindi mo makukuha kahit sa basketball. Uh -huh. so, Siyempre, sa basketball, 
sa sports, may mga natutunan ka doon na hindi mo makuha sa loob ng classroom. Pero yung sa outside ng basketball, marami akong natutunan. Richard, ikaw? Siguro sa experience ko sa FU na madadala ko sa buhay, yung ano, mga lesson na sinasabi ng mga coaches. Sila Coach Nats, Coach O, na lagi yun nga, yung after ng basketball mo. Ano na eh, parang ibang level na yan. Paano ka tatay sa sarili mo. Na, and yun, marami akong lesson na nakuha kay Coach Nats kahit sa, sa isang tao niya sasabihin pero lahat may involved na paano maging disiplin sa sarili, uh, paano ka magtrabaho. Nasa sa'yo lahat eh. Parang ganun. Jasper, what uh, lesson did you learn uh, in, during your time in FU mm-hmm. that you will use for your professional career, for life, for mm-hmm. life uh, beyond the game? Oh, well, I mean, what Coach Olsen and Coach Nash always like preach to us, it's, it's more to it than just basketball. Um, obviously, basketball doesn't last forever, you know. You're not going to be in the basketball until, you know, that time. But um, it's just a lot about, like, basketball, you know, you, it's, there's a lot, it's, it's connected to life, you know. Like, basketball is definitely connected to life for you. Um, the way that you are disciplined with these coaches and how they um, develop you as an individual, you definitely bring that on to, to anything after basketball. You know, work or, you know, having your own career or, you know, businesses like that. So I think that was definitely one thing I, I will take um, for the rest of my life for sure um, from these coaches is that there's more to it than just basketball. Raymar. Union. Ano yung pag ano ni Coach Nas na ano yung after ng basketball career mo and then kung paano mo dalhin yung sarili mo sa labas ng court kasi siyempre sila coach na sa basketball so believe ako doon kasi siyempre kumbaga uh, hindi lang sa court eh mga sa buhay kung paano mo ano yun yung pera mo uh, to manage and after mo anong gagawin mo kung kumbaga may goal ka na patutunguan kasi yung basketball sa glita lang naman yun eh. Kaya yun talaga tumatak siguro sa akin na parang maganda ka para sa after hour mo siguro. Naninibago ko kay Raymar eh. Parang pastor eh. Oo. <laughs> 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 talaga malumahan eh lang mag, uh, magsalita eh. Pero pag naglaro, parang iwas na lahat, di ba? Hindi, mabait na ako ngayon. Sorry. Kaya mabait ka na pa ngayon. <laughs> Pag hindi ako inunahan. <laughs> uh, well, again, maraming salamat uh, sa ating FPU Legends for sharing yung inyong mga memories, mga hugot nyo, mga story nyo, at mga leksyon na I'm sure yung uh, our fans, and especially the young fans, marami sila mapupulot na aral-aral dyan. Uh, again, maraming salamat. FPU Legends, Ray Marose, Jasper Parker, Richard Escoto, and Carl Brian Cruz. Thank you, guys. Thank you. was so unique like we had many different stops it was a good way to experience the motorcycle Harley Davidson within the wings of Wheel Tech Big Bike Exhibition part of our family and it marks a significant uh, milestone for the Wheel Tech Motor Sales Corporation's uh, group first we were fortunate enough to be the first in the Philippines to have been given the right to have our company name put before the brand name. When you're in the roads, you're not thinking of anything. No stress, no work, no anything. It's between you and the road. So technically, that's why you're really, really out of your world. So that's why it makes you really free. With a Harley Davidson, you can expect like pure muscle. You feel the strength and the power and the torque of the motorcycle itself. Even if it's heavy, the engine has got like more than enough power to haul its ass. To everyone, we're inviting you to please visit our showroom here at Wiltech Car Davidson of Cavite. We are just a stone's throw away from uh, District Mall at the intersection of uh, Aguinaldo Highway and uh, the Anghari. So you can find us here. That's right now.
Super Sprint 2 is the second round of the Super Sprint series. Uh, the Super Sprint series we started this uh, last August. Uh, that was our first round. And uh, we plan to have three rounds this year. Um, the third round will be on in December. All right, the participants of Super Sprint are mostly beginner drivers. They have little to no experience. Well, that's our target uh, people. Uh, the, the people that want to try racing but are too intimidated to do so. That's why we made Super Sprint so that they can have the experience. <laughs> Passion ko na ever since ano nagstart ako magdrive 13 years old. Last year pa lang pinipilit ako ng mom ko na sumali ng autocross kasi super busy sa kaya hindi ko pa alam kung talagang kaya ko. So this year lang ako sumali ng ano nagstart ako sa Pax Autocross. Then nagstart na rin ako sa Super Sprint. Iba talaga. Kasi grabe yung mga pilots as in magkakadikit. Then super challenging siya. So yung adrenaline ko, push-push to the top. Kasi kaya kami sumali dito sa Super Sprint 2 uh, para matest namin yung aming uh, bagong setup na Mini Cooper 1995. First time ko rin to race officially. Talagang uh, gusto ko itong uh, motorsports. Eh. Any motorsports. Nanunood ako ng Formula 1 and... Uh, Gusto ko naman ma-experience, kaya yung pagsali ko rito, masaya. <laughs>